Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to episode number 101 of The Road to Glory. So, if you guys missed it, yesterday I uploaded a special video for you, which was like the best bits, the highlights, some key moments from our first 100 episodes of this series in FIFA 19. If you want to go and check it out, it's a pretty long video, but it's a nice watch, uh, and then see how we've come from the very start to where we're at right now, then uh, I'll leave a card in the top corner, or of course you can check out the last actual episode if you missed that which was from Christmas Day. So as you can hear I, I sound a little bit better. I think I'm able to speak a little bit better and stuff now. Um, I'm still coughing and stuff and you know I'm, I'm still full of it but you know we're, we're, we're getting there and hopefully I'll be back in full good good feelingness in the next couple of days. Let's hope so anyway but I, yeah I'm definitely feeling more alive and stuff which is brilliant. So um what I wanted to show you was a whole bunch of loads and loads of content that I got in between uh, like Christmas Eve, which is when I last start, I la well, I started recording for this episode, all the way up until like the end of Boxing Day, uh, ready for you today for this episode. Um, but really, we didn't actually <laughs> we didn't actually get that much stuff, did we? So uh, I did get Thiago Silva. He's the biggest. Uh, Futmus, or the highest rated Futmus purchase that we've got. I guess uh, maybe Firmino was slightly more expensive, perhaps. But we were able to submit him, get him for cheaper than, like... Cheaper than what he was going for if I was to buy everything because I was able to use red informs and I did get rid of Sommer, I believe it was. I don't care that he was a relatively high rated one. Like I don't think I was going to use him. So I was like, you know what, fine. I will uh, I'll happily go ahead and, and, and submit him so that I can get myself Thiago Silva because I, I don't know whether I spoke about it in an episode or whether or not I was talking about it just on Twitter. I can't remember. Um, but I was thinking about getting Thiago Silva to fit this spot right here. Uh, and so the fact that he got a footmas was just like, hell yeah. It gives me an opportunity to get that. And we've run out of contract with Sol Campbell. So I was like, yes, I definitely want to do that and see how he goes. Because he's like a ball player. He's got good dribbling and passing for a centre-back. And I figured he would be a good centre-back to have alongside Virgil van Dijk. So, you know what? We went ahead and done him. Uh, also going to complete Subasic right here because I don't know when I'll ever need like an 85 rated uh, goalkeeper. Um, but you know what, just in case, like now that we've got Thiago Silva, if we end up going down the route of having like a league gun squad at some point, maybe if we had two centre-backs, then who knows? Maybe I would want a league gun goalkeeper and Subasic looks like a good option for pretty cheap. So uh, I figured I'd go ahead and unlock him for next to nothing. Um... And one thing that is now over, of course, is Christmas. So I haven't been asking you for like, well, I have been asking you for mad likes uh, every day up until Christmas. And thank you so much for basically smashing the target every single day, bar one, I think. But I'm not sure if YouTube was acting up that day. Um, but you guys absolutely nailed it. Now, what it does show me is that you can keep showing that support every single day. Uh, I would love it and appreciate it. It really does help the Road to Glory out. It seems to be able to be pushed out to more people. The more people that like it, like getting me into some sort of algorithm and stuff, which is awesome if that is the case. So if you can continue to show your support, get more eyes on this series, it would mean the world to me. I think we can get a staple of 2,000 likes on each episode. If you're able to do that, smash that. That is your new target every day 2000 likes let's go so um thank you in advance for that so what i've got for the rest of the episode then is uh some highlights from a couple of division rivals games that i played uh which is were played on boxing day just before or like up and running until in the afternoon before 6 p.m because i uh, i i typically work on boxing day uh, i had christmas day off with my family i hope you guys had a lovely day as well. Whether or not you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had some nice time with your family or just a nice relaxing day. Um, good food, good drink, good company, just just good everything. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I did. I had a really nice day with my family and stuff, which is just perfection. I love it. Um, but I typically work on Boxing Day because... Uh, my brother's a massive Ipswich Town fan, uh, so am I, but not as not as diehard as he is for the club, and he literally goes home and away to every game, uh, so we had an away match, I think we lost 3-0 to QPR, which is not great, um, but because he goes away on, on Boxing Day, it means that we don't do like another family day then, so I've probably got another family day lined up uh, sometime during the rest of this week, uh, have a big party with all the fam, uh, so that'll be great, uh, but yeah, it means I typically work on Boxing Day, because there's always football on. 
And normally we get like either SBC promos, pack promos and stuff. And I was hoping to bring some SBC stuff out for you guys today in this video. But we didn't get anything. I mean, as I'm recording this commentary, it's 7.30pm. Uh, and, and we didn't get anything at 6. But there are some 100k packs in store which run out at 10pm. So I guess there's a chance we could get, could get something. But you'll know by the time this is out, right? So what we've got for you is uh, those SBCs from the start of the video. Then a couple of highlights from Division Rivals games to test out Thiago Silva, see how he was doing um, and just generally try not to forget muscle memory as we've got the weekend league coming up uh, and then um, later on in this video I will go to live lastly on Thursday morning where I will do my rivals rewards and then tomorrow's episode will be my Redfoot champions rewards which as you know we do have a ridiculous team of the week this week with the likes of second in form Alexandro, third in form Lala, Pogba's in there uh, Hyung Min Son, like if I get any of them, I'll be so freaking happy. It'll, I'll be, oh my god, it'll be unbelievable. Um, but we got a win in our very first game, and then I'm so jealous of this guy, my opponent. When he has a corner, his Van Dyke is at the front post. I'm like, mine's always out the box. So uh, I, I would love it if my Van Dyke would be the front post to win me headers from from attacking corners. That would be brilliant. Uh, but yeah, I end up equalizing early doors in the second half, but it was a very tough opponent It was one of those games where it was like we we're both very similar on skill level because it's rivals because we're on the, a very similar skill rating, you know um, So I saved this penalty. I believe yeah I couldn't see him change his head direction and rather than do what I normally do which is always dive one way I've stopped myself from doing that because if they don't move their head a lot of the time They're just going straight down the middle. So uh, yeah, I've, I've tried my very best to do that and I saved it. Doesn't matter though, because a few moments later he runs down the other end and scores with Aubameyang uh, to put him 3-2 up. But in the 85th, 86th minute, I'm still 3-2 down. I'm like, oh, I need something here. Got myself a goal with Neymar. I changed to all-out attack or ultra-attacking, whatever it is. Uh, so everyone's pushed forward and stuff. Um, I score... And then I take it off of him from kickoff, go down the other end and score again with Mo Salah. And I'm like, oh my god, I feel so lucky. In like two FIFA minutes, I was able to turn this game around from being losing to uh, to winning. So that was kind of mad. That was a, yeah, uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. You know, I've had games of FIFA where that's happened to me and it's very frustrating to happen against you. But when it happens for you, of course, it feels great. Um, so these are like the goal to game ratios. 29 goals, 8 assists in 25 games. 20 goals and assists in 30 games for Bobby. That's impressive. I really like him. Uh, and then our Bamiyang is sitting on 129 and 70. So nearly 200 contributions there in 151 games. All pretty good in my eyes. So all that's left to do now is switch over to live lasty and we will go for my live division rivals rewards. Now seeing as I'm only half awake, uh, I wouldn't expect these... Uh, these rewards to be amazing or the reactions to be insane either. But we will be getting ourselves four 35k packs or four mega packs for foot division rivals this week because um, that's rank three and I didn't quite have enough to get rank two. I thought about trying to push for it yesterday, but it was like 6,000 points away and I was like, yeah, you know what? It's probably just not going to happen, is it? So I'm happy to take four mega packs because that does mean that we can set ourselves a target of trying to get 10 squad fitnesses from this ready for the weekend league. Uh, I did go out and buy a few, as you will have seen earlier in the episode probably, um, but I do want to set myself a target of trying to get 10 within four packs. That's quite that's quite ambitious because that does mean over an average of two per pack. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But I did set you a light target of 2,000 earlier. If you could smash that for us right now, that would be amazing. Uh, that is your target. Go ahead, do it. Let's get into our four mega packs then. I can't believe that I'm sat here like hoping and praying and wishing for uh, for 10 <laughs> squad fitnesses because we're not gonna even get boards in the first pack that could be good though because like for this for the squad fitnesses thing we could get less players and more items you know so parolo in the first one isn't great really isn't great um but we're not here for the players are we let's face it uh, we are here to see that we get mm, only two squad fitnesses so uh, we are below our target so far. We get an, a shadow, which is good, uh, and an artist, which I think is also quite good this year. Um, so I'm not I'm not too bothered, but that's not the best mega pack you'll ever see. This is Ronaldo, Messi. I don't know. Oh, it is actually a walkout. Who are we going to get then? 
What are we actually going to get here? French goalkeeper from Tottenham. That is Hugo Lloris. 88 rated Lloris. That's a really big pull. I imagine because of like Icon SBCs and stuff, his price might be pretty solid. Um, not that we can sell him, so I know he's untradeable, but like as, as, as useful for an SBC as he could be, or I have been recently using him when I have uh, Van Dyke and Varane in the squad. So that's, that's good. That's really good, actually. 88 rated Lloris. Welcome to the club, my friend. Uh, I will take a French walkout any day of the week. Um, Two squad fitnesses again, so we're up to four and we're halfway through. So we've got to go big and get three in each of the remaining packs. Uh, I will just double check if these are tradable or untradable. Tradable, tradable, and you you won't really matter anyway, will you? So uh, I'm just going to discard them both. I think that's probably all right, isn't it? So two to go. We've already had a walkout. I didn't expect a walkout from these packs, to be honest. So uh, I'm very, very happy. We've got another walkout here. What's this going to be then? Another Loris, isn't it? Spanish centre mid uh, from Vissel. That is going to be Iniesta. 87 rated Iniesta. This is great SBC fodder right here. Um, a nice 87 rated player that we can happily throw into a squad building challenge down the line. Like, as walkouts go, I don't think... Well, I mean, Loris is good as an 88. But as 87s go, I think Iniesta is normally like the least expensive. So, um... I gotta take it though. That's that's fair play. Uh, that's actually very good. We get a Brahimi as well, who always sits over ten thousand coins because of his links to like Jonas and stuff. Uh, so another great SBC fodder right there. But now the real question is like, how many are we getting? We've only got two, guys. We're only up to six squad fitnesses. We need to get a massive four from our final pack. What the hell? Yes, lads. We just got ourselves Fabinho. That's brilliant. That's actually ridiculous. Probably the most valuable player. Because uh, the only annoying thing is that my Fabinho is my most capped player. At like 300 games or so. But that's really, really good. We've just made ourselves like 40 or 50k. I guess anyway. I figured he's always around that price. I don't really know. Um, but that's excellent. Absolutely brilliant. Like Fabinho there. So 285s and an 87 in that pack. They were all untradeable, brilliant. Um, but yeah, that's fantastic. We can sell our other one, make 50,000 coins or whatever he actually goes for. Uh, and let's see what we get in the final pack. I'm not expecting a walkout. Three in a row would be a little bit much, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, but it could still be another Fabinho. And if so, that would be rubbish. Uh, no, we get ourselves a uh, Chananolu for the final pack. So just what you want to see. Uh, but that's that's pretty awesome, to be fair. Is there four squad fitnesses in this one, though? Or have we lost our own little bet? One. Oh my god. We only got seven out of ten this week, guys. Uh, last week we did much better, but really our rewards this week have actually been pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. I'm really happy with that. Uh, so let's go and have a quick check and see how much Fabinho is on the market uh, to know that how much we can get for him. Because he, he normally settles around 40 or 50k, I'm pretty sure. But, I, I, you know, it's Christmas and loads of people have been opening packs, so maybe he's a bit less. Um, let's try 40. Two, okay, okay. Hey, he actually, he's actually over 50k. What is it because people are prepping for the weekend league? Uh, that's awesome. We're gonna make 52k off of our, we probably get 50, I guess, 50k off of our rivals' rewards, which were untradeable. Uh, and uh, we have to welcome a new Fabinho to the club. And just for like, our reference, because I want to know how many games I've played total, like, in the end. We ended up playing 394 games with our first Fabinho, who we bought for 62,500. We're really not going to lose much money on that, that card that we bought at the very start of the game. So, uh, I'll take that. Thank you so much for watching. That has been today's Rival Rewards and you know, other part of the episode. Tomorrow, we will dig deep into our red rewards where we will pack Pogba, Alexandro, Son, and also Lala, all four of them from two red player pick packs. It's going to be seriously lucky. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like target. Subscribe if you're new. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.